Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to episode 4 of How to Engineer and today we're gonna learn how to do a perfect attack with an engineer and how to do a perfect defense with an engineer all mid-fight and in real situations. Alright, so here we are in Tunisia on one of the most beautiful maps on Al Jabal farm and we see we got this open field and it's very beautiful, but it means, well, we can get shot very easily from far away. Not even by snipers, but by also regular riflemen and especially tanks. So, what, are, what can we do? Well, A, we can take a tank on ourselves, but this doesn't help us get the objective. So, what we do is we run to the best hidden place for a safe rally point, which I did in this building. And now we see that if we want to reach the objective after spawning, we are still in this open field. That's why we need sandbags. Now these sandbags are gonna greatly reduce the amount of bullets that our newly spawned soldiers take. And also don't forget call an artillery strike. The squad that you use in the beginning of the game always should have a radio man. Unless you want to be super aggressive. Now right after the artillery strike finished I stopped building sandbags and quickly ru uh, rushed into the objective. Because this is the perfect timing for attacking. If you wait any longer well, the longer you wait, the more enemies are gonna come back to the objective. So, this is the optimal point that you want to use. So, you basically have a nice balance of building a quick rally point, making sure your teammates after spawning can get safely from the rally point to the objective, and actually planting the bomb or doing whatever you need as, an, as a player in this particular map. And we can see this is the only proper entrance for the defenders to the objective. Now obviously we're gonna buy, uh, tank block it and now they can't get in anymore. Also we're gonna build sandbags since they're gonna throw lots of grenades and then a nice triple layer of barbed wire and now we're basically set. And in this particular game I think like after one minute we won the game very easily. Now here we are in Normandy at D-Day and we are the second objective and you can see this objective is basically this little artillery placement. It's like a farm building with <clears throat> with this inner area with this artillery thing. Now we see that the objective itself is rectangular and in this giant rectangle we have this this barn building. This means that if the enemy wants to occupy the objective he needs to either stay outside where we can kill him easily or he needs to get inside. Now what does it mean for us? Well obviously as an engineer we are gonna make it impossible for the enemy to get inside the building. So, yeah, you see, this one tank blocker completely messed up my own movement. Now, if the enemy is under pressure, he, he will mess up definitely. He will definitely get stuck because he doesn't know where it is. Now, after building these first tank blockers, you see, well, there's no tank blocker here. So, we need one here also. And now there are no quick entry points for the enemies. He can't get inside the buildings easily or quickly. And also another tank blocker here. I could do barbed wire, but it would be a waste of time basically because this, uh, this position gets artillery strike constantly. And if you see the, if you look at the number of lives the enemy have, we won the game on the second objective because they just completely got stuck. Now, right side of the objective, we have this little road with another building on the right side, right next to the hill. The enemy see they can't get... Uh, from the left side easily in because from the left side we are spawning and constantly shooting them. From the right side I have this little road, this by the way the left side we are watching it. We have this little road and they get stuck here because this building, well they can't get up on this building. And here behind, here on the right side of the road, well it's also a little bit, well, hard to move. There's only this thin road, It can, everyone can shoot inside this road. And also I built another tank blocker so tanks can get through. And this tank blocker that this particular tank saw uh, caused him to try to take the left side which obviously didn't end up well for him. Yeah. And it's even so bad that the enemies need to try to, to creep around behind this building on the right side in order to somehow get close to the objective. Oh, I, I tried to build a sandbag during a fight but I missed it by like half of a, milli like half of a second. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, always make sure, by the way, while you are uh, fortifying the objective, always, always counter-attack. Because you're running out of 
engineer points, obviously, so you can't build more engineer resources. And you see here, um, by the way, this little road behind the house on the very right side. They try to get in. They try to get in, but they also get stuck because it's very thin. You, you can't move around too easily. Uh, and we have this beautiful tank block. I'm making sure no tank is coming through this area too. And also, whenever you see enemies doing something, react with your engineer to it. Here I know that they're constantly pushing through this little path. Obviously I'm gonna barbed wire it. <laughs> and it's very nicely outside of the artillery strike zones, so I can be sure this is gonna stay up quite long. Also, uh, the barbed wire is right on a dark grey ground, so it's not easy to spot from far away. And enemies will just run and, yeah, and regret it. <laughs> and regret it. And once again, uh, after making sure we got our stuff done, I pushed again. Now, we got the situation here, where somehow someone, I guess enemy, destroyed a tank blocker. And the tank could come through. But doesn't matter, he still slowed down significantly because there are lots of craters and we can attack it from, from yeah, many, many different sides. What we basically do here is we are bottlenecking the enemies. We are A, bottlenecking them on the objective itself, meaning they can't get into the good, safe house. They have to stay outside, they're bottlenecked inside the open field where we can easily shoot them. And they're even bottlenecked on the way to the objective. Because the right side, very, very small road, uh, very hilly, you, you can't really use many soldiers to attack. And the left side also a very open hill part, right in front of our spawn. So whenever they attack on the left side, we just our spawn soldiers, even our spawn bots just kill them from far away. Now, whenever we see as an engineer the enemies aren't getting close, this means we did our work right and always keep counter-attacking. Yeah, counter-attacking is important, sitting back doesn't win games, you also have to counter-attack. Now this tank tried to move inside, but as you saw, he also got stuck. <laughs> he also got stuck and he saw he can't get out. Well, he can't get back to the front, uh, can't get closer to the objective. And he drove backwards after seeing the craters and the tank blocker in the, in the small road. And he got punished for it by getting blown up. Did you constantly work on the objective itself, on the area around the objective, first make sure the enemies can't get nicely inside and then make sure that after you see how the enemies use the surrounding area, just counteract it. Yeah? Here we see, oh, they try to, to evade this, this, this bottleneck road by going around this hill. Well, guess what? I'm gonna leave some pub wire there. Or we see they are constantly bottlenecked behind this building because, well, Guess they are afraid of attacking and I guess they see how they get shot from constantly from all the sides. Well, we know, we, we, we even could possibly just, if we had a mortar squad, just mortar right behind this one house where they are constantly waiting and camping. Yeah, yeah, and and even if they, if they, even if, even if they go through this uh, thin street that you see here, you see, perfectly fine. Now, this is the left side, once again. Uh, these are trenches. Trenches are actually good for the attackers. They are actually better for the attackers than for the, than for the defenders. Uh, but if they are full of barbed wire, well, once again, they're not that good for the attackers. And yes. And, well, this is everything you need to know. Now you know how to do a perfect attack as an engineer and a perfect defense as an engineer. The overall wisdom about this is always be active, always when you spawn with an engineer, always do as much useful stuff as possible and then go straight into the fight. So you get a really, really nice performance out of your engineers. This is also how you get engineer medals in the end of the game. You just get lots of action, lots of points, lots of kills and experience with your engineers and then you will have, well, you will have the, the most successful engineers in the game. Alright, never forget engineers aren't only meant for engineering, they're meant for supporting the actual fighting so they also need to fight themselves because i see many people just stay uh, staying back and building stuff but not fighting enough so if you make sure you also fight enough you will become the best engineer possible all right if you like the video let me know and like and of course subscribe if you haven't yet and if you have questions or discussions write in the comments i'm gonna answer and we're gonna discuss it and see you next time. Goodbye.